Hello today, uh, my name is uh, Neil King. I'm one of the building inspectors for the city of Sioux Falls and today we're gonna make a quick video on how to measure out and cut stair jacks. Tools you're gonna need to do this. First, you'll need a pencil, tape measure, you'll need your framing square, a set of stair gauges, carpenter square, a jigsaw, and a circular saw. So step one, uh, measuring out the steps is to figure out your total overall height. And as you can see, we've got the deck built, the decking is on it, the handrail is built. That is important because the measurement needs to be taken from the top of your finished floor. So this measurement needs to be taken after your decking has been placed, not before. You come out with somebody either a level or a straight two by four like this, and we know from the old deck, this is about where the steps will land. So this is the point we need to measure from, not by the deck, but where the steps are actually going to land, because that could vary. Even if it varies by an inch or two, that'll highly affect what your stair measurements are. So I'll have Gary slide that out and we'll get a measurement. So our overall height is 104 and a half inches. So from the measurement that we took, we had 104 and a half inches for our total height. So you can see my max rise, which is the height of your stair, is eight inches. So we cannot have a step that's higher than eight inches. So we will take this 104 and a half and divide that by eight. And that gives us 13.062. So now that we have a decimal, which is higher than 13, which means if we tried going with 13 risers, we would have a measurement over that eight inches. So we need to round that up to 14 and then divide it by that 104 again, which gives us a riser height of 7.46 inches. Now an easy conversion to turn that into inches is just take this 0.46, multiply that by 16, which is 7.38, round up to eight, which is eight sixteenths or a half an inch. So that means our overall stair height, our riser height, will be seven and a half inches. So we know that our minimum tread depth is 10 inches. So we will take one of these stair gauges and set it on the square at 10. And then the other one from our measurements, we got a riser height of seven and a half inches. So we'll take the other one and set it at the seven and a half inch mark. And then we are ready to start laying out our stair jack. So now that we got our stair, our framing square set, we want to crown our 2x12. All boards, all boards have a crown in them, so we always want that crown to be up. So we're going to just take a look down the board and see which way its natural curve goes to. And on this 2x4, it's on the right hand side here that's going to be up. So we're going to take our measurements from the, from the crown side. So now we are going to start laying out the steps. We got our gauge set for our riser height at seven and a half and at 10, and we're simply just going to trace the square and move down to the next point. And we're going to do this a total of 14 times. So that was our 14th riser. So now this last tread run represents our concrete landing down there. So I'm just gonna turn the square around and finish this line all the way through and that'll give us our cut line where it'll land even on the bottom down there. And then we will go back to the top to do the same thing at the top. So we're back at the top of our stair tread and this first marker made, our first riser mark, this will actually be the face of the deck. So we wanna cut this off that's our 14th riser is where you're stepping from the stairs up onto the deck. So now we'll just square this off so we can cut it. And then from here is where we'll start cutting our steps out. So now we're at the top of our deck here. I'm going to cut this line off to start our squaring of the tread and the risers going down the deck. OK, 
Okay, so now that I've done the skill saw, we're gonna sw switch to a jigsaw to finish the cut. I did not wanna go overcut with the skill saw because now we've taken this two by 12 and basically reduced it to a two by six. So we don't wanna lose any more strength. So we'll just finish that corner there with a jigsaw. So now we're gonna measure down and find where our stair jack is gonna sit against our deck. Um, what, what I cut and what we have there for the two by 12 is framing. So we wanna measure down, not from the top of the decking, but from, from the framing. And that'll, <clears throat> and we're gonna mark seven and a half inches because that was the height of our rise. And it happens to be right on that joint, which will be, make it nice and easy for going across. And now we're ready to set our stringer up there and see how it fits. Okay, so we just finished setting the top up. It's nice and square with the deck, tight, no gaps up there. As you can see, we're tight here and we got a gap here. That is because this jack right now is not sitting level. If you remember, we cut seven and a half from here and seven and a half to here. But our finish cannot be over eight. And it, so we need to account for the decking that's gonna go on top. So once we take this off the bottom here, we will be our seven and a half inches and they'll all be the same going up and we will set level down here on the bottom. So now our next step is to take the stringer back down and cut the thickness of the decking off the thickness of the stair stringer on the bottom. So our decking measures an inch and a quarter. So we're gonna mark an inch and a quarter on the bottom. Take our carpenter square, square off a line. And then once we cut that off, it'll set nice and level on the landing. So now that we cut off the bottom, we can see how we're sitting nice and tight on the bottom. So now when we go, all our steps should be level. No tripping hazards as we're going up the stairs. Now that we've got this one traced and cut, you will use this for your pattern for the next two. We are 36 inches wide up top, so that means we'll have one on the outside, and one at 18 inches, and then one on the outside again. Um, you get much over that, then we're gonna wanna add a four stringer. So 36 inches and less, you can use three, over that, you're gonna use four. And that's how we build our stair stringers.